What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Flash Jackson Road to the show. We are just past the halfway point of his first season playing for Double A Jackson Generals and they haven't started the second half off very well, only going 1 and 6. So right now Jackson's batting 221, lifted his average from where it was a while ago. Hasn't been the most consistent hitter, but he has shown that he has potential to be a solid hitter in the lineup, but here he's not showing that potential as he pops this one. And that's going to be easily fielded, so he's going to be out his first at-bat in this episode now. Top of the second, 0-2 count, and the pitch is off, and he's going to swing and miss at that inside fastball. I have a lot of trouble picking up fastballs at times because I'm not the greatest at seeing pitches on this game, especially when they have too much break or they're too fast. So I'm still improving. I'm obviously not a very good hitter on this game quite yet, but I think when the attributes get higher and I play the game a little bit more, we should be pretty solid over here, but I'm having a lot of fun playing this series. It's one of my favorite things to play at the moment. So we go next game now, and the pitcher gets a call from the umpire, and Jackson's unhappy with that strikeout looking. We go ahead to the top of the 11th, 1-1 one, one pitch, nobody on, nobody out, and Jackson. Okay, where was that slider? That one wasn't even close. Well, it was kind of close, but not close enough. Now the 1-2 pitch, and Jackson's going to swing and miss with that curveball. That could have been strike two. I might have taken that pitch. So the ump, not my friend in this game, and Jackson still goes on to win 3-1, to one, but Jackson starts this episode with two offers. And now I just got to use the batting practice. I got to get back down to the fundamentals and just hit the ball because I've had some troubles recently and I want to get out of this slump. So I'm trying to make some solid contact and batting practice. And now we're playing the Montgomery Biscuits. 0-1 pitch. And Jackson's going to hit that one to the outfield, getting it out of the infield. And it's going to fall for a hit. And Jackson, hard turn around first base, looking for a double. And he will be in. He's got a little bit of speed. That's what he's kind of going to be all about when I get his attributes where I'm happy with him. But he moves his way to third base. And then he's going to score on the this base hit so Jackson comes all the way around we go bottom of the third now Montgomery up four to one 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 pitch Jackson looks at a slider he gets a call now the umpire felt bad from the last game so he gave Jackson a call there now two and one and Jackson's gonna swing and it's stabbed by the second baseman it was a solid hit solid contact but it was just in range of the second baseman and he's gonna get the line out so Jackson now still losing and that fastball is gonna be a called strike Two and two now, two out, bottom of the fifth, and Jackson's going to look at that slider well low, so payoff pitch coming. I want to take a walk as part of the goals, and the pitch comes, and Jackson checks his swing, but he just hits the corner, a perfect pitch. That was a great pitch. i got to give him credit for that. So Jackson strikes out, and he goes one for four in this game, getting his first hit of the episode, and we spend some points now on the batting clutch, and so that's taken care of, but we got to get the RBIs and the walks. The arm accuracy will come. That's just points. Not usually a problem, but it's more of the RBIs and walks that I have trouble with. And here, Jackson this one down the third baseline, and a runner going to third and he's not going to go home and Jackson will be in with a single putting runners at the corners with nobody out and then Jackson wants to steal second and the throw is there and he is out so Jackson has not had very many solid steal attempts playing for Jackson the speed maybe has to get a little bit higher and so does the base running ability now later in the game Jackson grounds right to the second baseman and I don't want him to hit right at people anymore. That's been happening a lot as of late. He goes one for four in this game and Jackson wins four to three over the Biscuits. Now they begin a series with the Mississippi Braves and Jackson's gonna hit one but that's gonna be a pop up to short. Pretty easy play and Flash is out. So now we go top of the fifth. Runner in scoring position. Two on for Flash Jackson. Can he come through with a clutch hit here in the fifth inning? He's going to hit one the other way. That one was inside and he was late on it and it's in foul territory but playable and it's caught. So Jackson unable to come through but he has another opportunity later in the game. Top of the six. Bases are loaded with two outs. Jackson first pitch swinging but it's right at the second baseman. An easy ground out. And he's still got another opportunity, top of the eighth, runners at the corners with two out. And Jackson, the 1-1 pitch, hit right to the third baseman who flips it to second for another out. So Jackson, he can't get it out of the infield in these big situations where runners are in scoring position. He needs to get the RBIs. So Jackson ends up losing 2-3, to three, and he had multiple opportunities in that game to score some runs in. And now grounding it right to the pitcher. It was just a very frustrating episode. I was not having a lot of fun playing it. I was just hoping he could make some solid contact. That just wasn't going well. I wasn't being very patient as well. And then later I just drop a drag bunt, see what I can do. It was pretty much what everything else was going. At least I had the opportunity perhaps for an error to get on base. It was just so frustrating for me. 
The contact wasn't there and it was just not going well, so Flash, his average dipped big time in this episode as here's his last at bat, top of the ninth, and Jackson's up 13 to 1. And Jackson's going to ground out. And it's not fun when your team is blowing the other team out and you can't get on base. 0 for 6. Gets an RBI. But just not a very good episode for Flash Jackson as we're going to go and increase his arm accuracy now. At least get those two goals out of the way. And hopefully things can pick up soon. He's not quite done with arm accuracy actually. So next episode, Jackson tries to get back on track in the second half of his first year. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.